Elon Musk completes 44 billion deal to own Twitter. Hey guys, once again we are back with an exciting news related to the blockchain crypto community as I earlier revealed today's news about Elon Musk and Twitter. So now without wasting any time, let's get into the details of today's news. The world's richest man closed his blockbuster purchase of the social media service, thrusting Twitter into a new era. After a months long legal battle that has engulfed Twitter since Elon Musk first offered to buy the company for 44 billion dollar in April, the deal is done and the Musk is already ringing in the changes. Musk, who has criticized Twitter's leadership, fired CEO Parag Agarwal and chief financial officer Ned Segal as well as several more top executives. He is also likely to let more staff go though he has told employees that cuts wouldn't be as high as 75%. Musk spent time in Twitter San Francisco headquarters this week where he met with employees. Bulbang reported that he bought in some Tesla engineers to help assess his Twitter code. The new owner wants to loosen moderation rules and even make the social network open source so users can better understand that what Twitter is recommending. Longer term Musk has mentioned turning Twitter into the everything app akin to WeChat in China and even the possibility of charging companies for tweet embeds. On Thursday night Mr Musk closed his 44 billion deal to buy the social media service said three people with knowledge of the situations. He also began cleaning house with at least four top Twitter executives including the chief executive and chief financial officer getting fired on Thursday. Mr Musk had arrived in at Twitter San Francisco headquarters on Wednesday and met with engineers and ad executives. The closing of the deal which followed months of drama and legal challenges as Mr Musk changed his mind about buying the company sets Twitter's on an uncertain course. Mr Musk, a self-described free speech absolutist, he said that he wants to make the social media platform a more free-willing place for all types of commentary and that he would reverse the permanent ban of former president Donald J Trump from the service.